What's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. All right, so today we are gonna get the trailing arms for this thing painted. I bought some new ones. They're not brand new, they're used, but they'll work for this. And as you can see, this one is pretty shot. Tried getting new ones, but they didn't have them. Well, they had a left one and I couldn't get a right new one. Uh, but I got a, you know, like I said, I absolutely love the colors on this sled. And there's, you know, this brighter blue. My girlfriend's new helmet has uh, got a lot of blue like that. Uh, here's the other trailing arm. You can see it's, it's toast. So I don't want her riding with that on there. Um, as you can see, our uh, snow situation has kind of disappeared. Uh, yeah, so it's a little cold out today, so I can't paint them in the shop. So we're going to go in the basement and uh, get them prepped and painted up in the basement. Probably get yelled at because the house is going to stink, but shh. Alright, so this is the girlfriend's new helmet. As you can see, the blue in it, there's just not enough on the sled. So I want to add the, this is the color I got, which is pretty close. Not exactly, but that other blue on the sled exactly, isn't exactly the same either. Um, but it'll be close enough. All right, so we're done in the basement. Here's the uh, new trailing arm. Obviously much, much better condition. Not perfect. It does have a uh, little dent in it. But that should be all right. Definitely much better condition than uh, what the other ones were in. So, uh, just let's go ahead. We'll get these sanded, prepped, and uh, gotta get this sticker off. I don't want that sticker on there anymore. Maybe we'll add some type of other sticker, or something to it. All right. So, I got uh, just my propane torch, and uh, I'm gonna heat this up a bit. Try and see if the sticker will come off a little easier blades probably shot yeah that's just deteriorated so heating it up usually help it uh, unstick a little heat up the glue and then uh, we'll sand her down All right, well that worked out pretty well. Definitely came out pretty nice. Should be fairly easy to sand out quick and uh, get these things painted up nicely.
All right, well, that's a nice, quick little prep. Definitely, uh, you know, I'm not looking for anything amazing on these. Um, it's a 93, and I bought the sled for 300 bucks. so. Uh, but I, basically the biggest thing is just roughing it up so there's no shiny spots, so the uh, new paint and primer will uh, stick to it. So there's one down. Now that the trailing arms are decently prepped, I mean, they're definitely not perfect, but these things aren't in perfect condition either. Um, now I'm gonna hit them uh, some brake clean, get all the dust and uh, any grease off of them, and then get to painting them. All right, so we got them hung up with a little bit of tie wire. Should be just fine. Prepped out all right. Uh, let's see, got me a can of brake clean. Try to knock off some of this dust and grease and Definitely don't want to breathe that stuff in. Yummy. They're all pretty much dried up. Definitely don't want to heat these up. Exactly. There's still a little bit of uh, gas in there for uh, brake clean. Um. <laughs> it's fine. I know what I'm doing, professional. Uh, but yeah, definitely wait till everything is dried up before you uh, hit it with a torch. Try and heat up the metal a little bit, burn off any uh, leftover debris, any type of oils or anything. But yeah, heating it up will uh, help it adhere a little better, especially since I'm doing this in the basement. There's not a, uh, a whole lot of uh, heat down here. Still in there. <laughs> Try not burn down the house. I think the girlfriend and child would be all pissed if we had to sleep in the snow. Make sure you shake the can till you hear the ball stop. Well, I'd say these look pretty good for a first coat. Really loving the color. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give this 15-20 uh, minutes to dry up and we'll get a second coat on there. But it's a little uh, nasty down here and I don't want to huff all this. So uh, we'll come back down in a bit. Well, I... Uh let the I ended up doing three coats on these and I let them sit overnight uh, to cure and uh, I'd say these things came out pretty sweet I mean the color is pretty much dead on to the helmet <clears throat> definitely look really nice I had some uh, LZ MFG stickers sitting around so I figured I'd throw them on there just give it a little bit of a color break up there 
didn't turn out too bad though definitely not perfect in some spots there's a little grit there and you know but i'm not looking for perfect i mean it's a 93 and we're probably just going to beat it a bit so all right well i guess uh let's go get to putting these on now all right so it's pretty cold out uh, i tried starting this the other day and it was like 60 degrees and the thing just would not start uh, i tried starting it yesterday started up no problem so i guess it's just really tuned for the cold um also i noticed my last video the uh camera started it kind of looks a little foggy i think it's because i got a uh, new lens for the gopro um tried cleaning it making sure that was it and hopefully that's better and i also got a uh a muff on the outside so hopefully it'll block out some of the uh traffic noise because i got throughway right there and uh change some settings so hopefully hopefully the uh video quality is a bit better and the sound is a lot better too let's get this thing started and uh we'll move around into the garage and start working on these trailing arms Like I said, it's cold out. Nothing really wants to uh, come off and work. And the battery's pretty much dead. Alright. Got a battery from inside. Hopefully it's warm and charged enough. The nut's loose, but it's stuck on the uh, bushing inside the shock there. There's like a bushing between the shock and then another little sleeve, some type of metal. Um, and as usual, that sees to the bolt itself. Um, so I actually started bending this tab out here. Uh, I'm going to try and throw a pair of like vice grips on this to hold this and maybe punch that hopefully knock it through but unless I get some serious heat in there it's probably not going to work the only problem with that is also I don't want to melt the bushing out of here <clears throat> otherwise I can try and cut the bolt drop the shock completely and uh, knock the sleeve out that way Started doing a little damage on that nut too. All right, I'm gonna give it. A, try the vice grips on the tabs and then try and punch it through and see what happens. Nope, still 
we're just bending that tab. Yeah, that sleeve is coming along with it. Hammer down. You good? You guys good? Didn't mean to hit you like that. Handle popped out. Camera down. Camera down. Yeah, she might be. Uh, Sorry guys, didn't mean to knock you out like that again. Oh, you got some dirt on you. Yeah, it should be alright. Here, we'll stick you back up here where you're less chance of getting hurt. Alright, so we got that bolt out. Now, so, uh, get the vice grips on. Back off. That bushing's still pretty intact, so I like that. I'm gonna have to raise these up a little bit for my big old rent. Now I think we just got one more. That size. Yes. Oh, I can work with that. And there we go. There is our old rotted arm. Uh, that thing was pretty toast. Alright, guess uh, let's try and get the new one on. Alright, so the new one still got the old top bushing in it. I'm gonna try and get that knocked out. And then uh, we got some new ones in here that we can throw in. Oh, that came out pretty easy. Not bad. Huh. Well, these new ones look way bigger than the old ones, so I'm hoping the, uh, the right ones. Don't open stuff with your teeth. I don't think they're the right one. It's not like they slide down here. Huh? Do they just slide in the leaves? No.
I don't think that's right either. I don't know. Let me look at the other side. Just getting wrong parts. It's so cool. Uh, all right. Well, in that case, I guess we're just going to reuse the old stuff. Right? I guess let's double check and make sure that slides over our uh, old spindle. Might have to knock all the bushings out of the old one and use them in the new piece. Which I really don't want to. Oops. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. We're just leaving these old ones in. This one doesn't have a bottom one. I think we're good. I think that'll work. Yep. Is everything? Alright. I guess that's what we're working with. I'd be smart if I put the washers in the right spots. Well, we got the first arm on. I don't know how I feel about it. Looks like I got a smudge on the thing. Huh. I mean, it definitely sticks out a bit more. Doesn't really match the, uh, the blue that's on the sled, but it definitely matches the helmet, so I'm sure it'll look fine when she's on it and riding it. but it kind of has a retro color. Kind of dig it. I'm gonna say I like it. I'm gonna go with I like it. We got this compared to this. Oh. Yeah, either way, it's done. That's what it is. I'll, uh, guess let's get the other side done. Got the other arm on. Came out pretty good. Seems like everything should be fine. Yeah, I didn't have new bushings because they gave me the wrong stuff, but... Kinda... Oh, lighting sucks in here, but... <clears throat> it's starting to grow on me. Kinda like it. Now that it's both done... All right, well, I got one more thing I want to do before we pull this outside and then uh, we'll see what it really looks like in the sunlight. Um, but you can tell these arms, old trailing arms were just gone. I mean, this one, really nothing left to it. It's completely shot. I think there's more of it on the ground than there is still here. 
Well, junk, junk. Now, I have to hook this up for the heated helmet. Um, looks like it is, oh, this is hard with one hand. Let's see, what are we doing? What do we got? All right, all right, we got this, we got that, we got that. All right, looks like I just gotta find somewhere for a negative and positive lead. And then it'll probably be one of these hookups, depending on what we like. Or it might be both. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, let's pop the hood on this bad girl right here. Pop! Pop! Pop, pop. All right, let's see what we got. Now, I got a little bit of electrical stuff on the other side. Got for the key. This one's an accessory, which I'm pretty sure is just the heated grips. So I think I might try to tap into that. I do not see anywhere where this had a wire before for heated helmet. Um, what do we got? Yeah, I can't see much with the sun. Um, some more wires down here. All right, well, I'll, uh, I think I'm just going to go into here with this switch here. Um, I'm just tap into whichever side is hot when it's running. And then uh, I'll just do ground to somewhere's on the chassis or the motor. And then it should be good to go. All right, well, it, it seems to be that coming off the voltage regulator, your yellow wire, seems to be your best and easiest option to top tap into so I can do my positive lead tapped into that and then I'll do my ground I'll clean this up and put my ground on here and that should work out just fine and then uh, I'll be able to you know probably just run it right out along here oh the hood all the hood insulation keeps falling off and uh, getting everywhere might have to just scrape the rest of that off um, but yeah we will tap into it and then I'll probably just have it like zip tied here and then uh, and just plug in right off the bottom of the bars there have it kind of hidden. So I guess uh, let's get to work there. All right, so hooking up the wiring on the Indy 440, you just, I ended up just putting a splice in here if you guys can see that a little better a little splice in there kept the uh, factory fitting so it would go uh, to the rest of the wires for the regulator um, spliced in the hot side for the helmet um, grounded it right to the chassis here and then ran my wire right up and around the uh, chassis and then up through the bars and then had it come out right here and this should be plenty for her. So I guess let's plug in the helmet and start it and make sure it's got the green light. But I finally took the uh, stickers off the helmet. I love the way this thing looks. 509 definitely did a good job with this one. So let's uh, stick her here. Get rid of this one. Stay there. We'll plug in this one. Give her the old starter roof. Oh, there we go. Got the light. Oh, flashing on the camera, but it's not flashing in real life. So I would say that is a 
success for the wiring on that trailing arms let's get this thing out in the sun and take a look at them I definitely uh starting to like these the color of the trailing arms a lot more now that the helmet's in the picture too so I'm gonna say this is the end of this video make sure you guys like and subscribe and uh hopefully we get some more snow like soon because it's a bit bare out here but boy do i love the colors of this thing now now i really do like the color of the trailing arms well i guess i'll leave you guys with a little montage on the way out so here you go